Hey, welcome to the Backyard Professor videos. I'm going to practice editing my software today. So I'm going to make a video of something I'm doing while one of my chess videos is uploading onto YouTube. It takes for flipping ever for those to work. So here's what I'm going to do in the meantime, and I may as well make a video and then play with my editing software because I don't want to mess up a chess video, and this is really uncritical. I'll put it. And the question is, you ask, what the heck? Yeah, look, it's foam board, right? Put aside my glue. It's foam board, right? Two inch thick foam board right there. And this is a little place that I have an outdoor kitty. And so I'm making him a nice winter home. And he'll sleep right in there. Because I like cats because they keep the mice down. So I'm going to glue these in right here. On each of the sides, I cut them on my table saw. And then this one, I'm going to put on the outside of this lid right here. That I so gracefully covered. See, like that. And then it'll be a nice place. And then I'm going to have it in a shelter. And the kitty will stay warm and happy, and I'm going to feed the kitty. I like cats because they keep the mice down. And I hate mice in the house because they are dirty, germ-carrying animals. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today while I'm thinking about the next chess game I want to upload for you. Hopefully tonight, but I've got a Christmas party to go to, so I'm going to go pig out. So it may not be until tomorrow. But anyway, you've got two new chess videos to watch, right? So enjoy, enjoy the videos. So here I am practicing my gluing skills. I have a tube of glue. I squish it all over the lid. Uh, actually, I think this is just like a tube caulk. I don't think this is glue. Caulk will work. I just want it to be so that the wind won't blow it off. And then to glue this crap down, you don't put it here and squish it with your hands. You have to turn it over so the glue is on the lid. See, genius comes in many different kinds, right? <laughs> yeah, baby. That's a good program right there. Okay, so I glue that down. This is very difficult. Whew. It's hot. I'm tired now. I've spent 30 seconds on this project. <gasps> the lid is heavy. I'm an old man. I need to rest. Move my pen out of my way. I'm doing this in my living room with my wife's permission. Lucky me. Just don't put any glue on the floor. She says don't put any glue on the floor. So, so help me. If you see me spill glue, don't you tell my wife. So help me. And then I gotta glue each piece. See, it's easy. See, look, look. Close up, close up. Detail work. Look at that. Look how skillfully I managed to squish this crap out of this tube. Yes! Give it a full good covering. Make sure all corners are. Oh man, that crap is thick. Talk about being a wuss at 57. This is disgusting. And then, what we got to do is glue it to the inside of this tub. Now, this is just a, a plastic tub, and I'll put the lid on top of it when I'm done. And then the cat has uh, a waterproof place to stay. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I'm going to have this underneath a kind of a roof deal out in my backyard. I'll show you where I'm going to put it. It's on top of an old fireplace I used to use in my workshop when I did all my scroll saw art. You've never seen my scroll saw art, have you? I'll have to show you some sometime. Remind me sometime, I'll show you. Ah, squish this on. It's exciting times, I'm telling you. And that's my pupliest. That's the pupliest, huh, silliest? I call her my silliest because that's what she is. She's a good puppy. 
And then behind is two of my pieces of scroll saw art, my leopard and my Indian storyteller. I scroll sawed those out of uh, maple wood. Hundreds of pieces of cuts. Each different color is an actual different cut of wood. All right. Continuing my gluing. Man, this stuff is thick. When you, uh, when you get some glue out of the tube like this, you squeeze it from the bottom. This is uh, Home Mechanics 101. <laughs> and then fold the tube up, and then fold the tube up again, and it gives you extra squish power. Yeah, look at that stuff. Comes out just like snot out of your nose when you're picking your nose. Whoops, that probably wasn't nice to say, was it? But it is true nonetheless. Ooh, I've got to get some... Some more glue on that part. There we go. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Look at that crap. Stays on like melting butter. Holy crap. This cat's going to love me. This cat better love me. Man, I'm telling you. This is, this is seriously expensive. Interesting question. Uh-oh. Siri is talking to me. You ever heard Siri talk to you? Siri, will you marry me? My end user licensing agreement does not cover marriage. My apologies. <laughs> her licensing agreement won't let her marry me. Son of a gun. Well, you know, that kind of sucks. But anyway. Hey, Siri's good for asking lots of really cool questions like how much does a huge rain cloud weigh? She's come up with like 13 million elephants before, something like that. Kind of fun. So, here's the lid. You put that on there like that, and then there's the door, right? Simple. Now, what I have to do is I need to go buy some straw. You want to use straw. You don't use blankets or anything like that in the bottom because they dry in moisture. So, you get straw, put this on the bottom, and then to make the cat feel at home for the first few days, you stick some food down in there, so that in a can, of course, not just down loose, you dorks. That way the straw will get in the food. Come on, think this through. <laughs> and then the cat can go in there, eat, and then go to sleep. After a while, I'll put the food outside. But anyway, let me show you where I'm going to put this wonderful contraption. When you're done with the glue, the wife says, put your crap away. Don't be a typical man and just leave it scattered all over the house. Right? Serious. Are you being a good girl? Okay, now it's time to put this lid on this little contraption right there. Isn't that great? Now it's ready to take outside. Now we march through the house. Ugh. We're going to that door right there. Tuck this thing under my arm. Can you get that door for me, hon? There's my smoker. Oh, I better do it straight, otherwise I'll smoke the meat wrong. Oh, here comes the puppy. Here comes the puppy. She found a kitty today. And I'll tell you what, she had fun chasing it. Alright, we come around here. I put this patio in couple summers ago, kind of a nice place to sit, except in the wintertime when snow's on the bench. Holy cow, what an amateur video. Here's my workshop. You like that old door? Yeah, that old door's like the old owner, you know. Kind of cool, kind of kish, you know. All right, right here. Right there, that's where I'm going to put this key box. Like that. See that? Then the cat can jump up right here on the table and go right into his house. And he's under this, hey, it's snowing. He's under this little shelter that I've built. I did that for my tools. And there's the kitty house. 
Come on, isn't that a, like a mansion you'd love to live in, right? Look at that. Walk right into your living room, right there in that wonderful, even door that I cut so skillfully. Hey, this is just a quick video to practice editing with anyway, you know what I mean? And then there's my weights. Here's my workshop. If you want to come inside the workshop and see where I've spent a lot of my life. Right there, there's my table saw. Love that table saw. Ooh, hey, there's my wooden dummy, handmade. Check this out. I love to work out with that on the uh, martial arts. I'll do some videos on working on the wooden dummy. I did it out of curly maple. Look at that beautiful curly maple. That's very, very hard on your arms. You want me to do a quick routine? I will. Here, hang on. I don't know how well you can see that in this light, but with a wooden dummy, the idea is these represent the arms of an opponent who's hitting you, right? And then this arm represents the low blow, and then you've got the leg, the leg uh, deal where you kick. And so the idea is to be able to block, stop from punching you, and then you can pull, punch him back, block, do a bong sal, do a back fist, do another bong sal, do another back fist, another back fist, block, back fist, back fist, stop, punch him in the gut, grab him like this, pow, do a head butt, so that you can practice your routine. The idea is to get your arms really strong. The trick is, you have to get used to pounding your arms against solid maple wood. You pound them that way, you get your upper arms, you're twisting so that you can have a punch there, you're blocking here, then you can grab and do a back fist, do a kick, do a belly punch. So the idea is you just want to I'll do some more videos on the wooden dummy because it's superb exercise and it just beats the snot out of your arms. After you pound on these for a few months, the theory is your arms are strong enough. When someone goes to throw a punch at you, you've got them. And it also teaches you hold your arm low and high. And when you throw a punch, bring it back. You've got your Tonsal, bongsal, lopsal, poxal, all the way here so that your arms are constantly guarding you. You've got that lower hit in case you throw it low, and this keeps your arm up by your face. And then you've got your arm up by your face here. You've got the punch there. You can block this hit, give him a back fist, give him a headbutt, boom. You can poxal, you can reach out there, you can bong, you can uh, jut sal. You can do all kinds. Of, that wasn't a jut sal, by the way. The bong sal is one of my favorites because it's so powerful. You stand here, bong sal, one bong sal, one bong sal, one bong sal, one bong sal. Anyway, that's enough of that noise. You wanted me to see. You wanted to see me do a chess video, right? Well, those are coming. Okay, it's kind of a snowy day while that uh, chess video is uploading. I'm going to go to the store and see if I can buy some straw. So I'm on my way to the store. Woohoo! Hopefully I won't have to spend 250 bucks just for a stupid cat. Or I mean that wonderful little kitty. I saw the kitty this morning. She's a beautiful cat. And I like cats hanging outside because it keeps my mice down. Right? Okay, I'll turn the video back on when we get to the store. Alright, I'm a few more minutes down the road and this guy that's pulling this truck here is driving slower than molasses running uphill in January, so I must be patient, just like in chess. He must have thrown a blockade at me or something. Holy crap! Come on, dude! Find that gas pedal! Remember, don't honk, it annoys people. See, I didn't honk and he's moving now. He must have heard me. Woohoo! 
and then the moron drove slow and went through the red light and I have to stop again. Dude, you suck at driving! Oh, I mean, gosh, I guess I'm gonna have to stop at this stoplight now. I'm almost to the store, so I'm having a really lovely time. Okay, I'm taking a detour real quick. I just saw a poor guy out here in the snowstorm freezing his butt off with one of those cardboard signs saying he needs help. Remember I said do something kind to someone that's not expecting it? I'm gonna go give the guy a couple of bucks. He deserves it. I'm gonna give him a five dollar bill. That'll get him some coffee and some lunch. Here we go. Here's this nice guy right here. How are you? Hey, here's Good five bucks. Bless Grab you. some coffee and I'm making a fun video so I just wanted to right on, awesome. take a minute and give you five bucks and let people know, look, treat everybody kindly. Oh, yeah. So Have there you go, Christmas. bud. Get some food don't stay out in the cold too long. Yeah, I'm trying not to. All right, thanks. Now see, that's fun to do, right? <laughs> that's great. Help your fellow man out. Why not? The world's too full of meanness and sadness and bitterness. Share the joy. All right, I've arrived. What kind of stupid, dumpy little store am I going into? Oh no, this is a great store. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out if they're really good, if they have straw or not. Because if you don't have straw, then I can't help my cat and I'm gonna be very upset. Ha ha. Nah, just trying to give the animals a break too. That's a lot of fun. Let's see if I can wreak havoc in here with these uh, hired help people, shall we? This will be fun to do. All right, there's some fine looking people. Oh crap, I wonder if they're gonna make me turn off my video. They might, it's shopping day. Oh, there's someone I can ask. Hey, you wonderful woman. Hi. Do you have straw? Yes, we do. For sale? Oh, you guys are awesome. I'm not even kidding. Spectacular. Looking for straw, looking for straw. Look at that, straw. I'm gonna help my kitty. So, they have straw. This is so cool. $7.97. Ooh, sale. That one's on sale for $2.97. Yes. Oh, you guys, you're trying to put me in the Christmas spirit, aren't you? Awesome. That'll be enough for a cat to lay on there. All right, I got my bale of straw. I was gonna video going to the cashier, but they kind of get mad about that stuff, so I didn't do it. I thanked her for ripping me off, and she laughed, and I said, hey, I like you. She, you're, you're a good cashier, and I stuck my stupid card in, and then I pulled it out, and I shouldn't have. It has the chip, you know, all this fancy new high techno stuff. So she told me to put it back in, and the card asked, uh, the card reader asked, "Do is this the right amount? And I said, no, I want it free, and she cracked up. He said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give it to you for free. I wouldn't have a job. And I said, yes, and you're such a nice lady, so you deserve to have a good job. So I'll go back there. They're nice people there. A lot of fun, man. Okay, uh, I'm going to put this straw. Oh, man, roll up this window so you can hear me. Not that you want to. Woohoo! Hey, I'm going to uh, put this straw in my cat house, and then I'm going to uh, let the wife go get the cat food because she knows the good stuff and uh, we shall take it from there. I think I'm about done with this video so I can do some editing and hopefully I can upload it right on my backyard professional profession prof I can't talk backyard professor videos yes that is what I do backyard professor videos chess philosophy religion history faith science creationism evolution infinity mathematics any subject in the world, Mormonism, Christianity, Judaism, the Bible, all kinds of stuff. So, um, I'm going to turn the video off now so I don't bore you to death. And I'm going to upload this video, I hope. And stay tuned, I have more chess videos coming up. Woohoo! Okay, I lied. I forgot to show you me. I forgot to show you putting in the straw. There it is. Oh, get that lid off. Nice straw for the kitty. And then we'll put this lid on. 
like so and she can go right in there and have a nice warm safe cozy home through the winter time that way she will make sure I have that pat that pat down pat awesome man there's my fun project while I'm waiting for videos to upload